Hello, today we're going to be doing lead code problem number 408, which is valid word abbreviation. So this problem states, a string can be abbreviated by replacing any number of non-adjacent, non-empty substrings with their links. The links should not have leading zeros. So for example, the word substitution. So in this first case, the abbreviation is S10N. So we have the S, and then basically it's taking the next 10 characters and replacing that with the number 10. So, substitution. So that's 10 characters, and then we have an N. So this is, according to lead code, this is a valid abbreviation. The second one is also valid. We have the word sub, then we're going to take away four characters. We have a U, and we take away another four characters. In this third example, we're taking all 12 characters, so it's a valid substring. Or um, a valid abbreviation. Okay, so here SU, and then we take away three, and then we have an I. So this is this example is explaining how it's it can it, it can't be adjacent. The numbers can't be adjacent to each other, but they can have as little as one character in between them. So LU. Or, I'm sorry, that's a 1, then U, then 2, then O and N. So there's a number in between each character there. And then substitution is a replacement for itself. So not valid abbreviation. Here, these two are adjacent. So we can't have that. No leading zeros. And in this case, the zero is just going to return an empty string. And so how are we going to do this? So the first thing we're going to do, we're basically going to have two pointers. So we're going to have one pointer that will go through the word, and we're going to have another pointer that's going to go through the abbreviation. So I'll just call those I and J, and I'll initialize them to zero. Let's space this out. Looks better. Okay, so now we need to loop through, and we're only going to do this while i, so i has to be less than the word length. That, if, if it's less than the word length, it means we haven't gone through the whole word yet. And abbreviation, the passed in parameter, length. I'm sorry. <laughs> j, which is our pointer for the abbreviation parameter, it also has to be shorter than that, too. All right. So what are, what are we going to do in here? All right. So the first thing we're going to do is compare the first character in word here with the first character in abbreviation. So let's do that. So if word dot char at I equals equals abbreviation char at j. Okay, then what do we do? Well, then if those two are equal, they're valid. So then we're just going to go to the next character. And so we just increase both i and j and then continue. All right, so that takes care of the characters. But what happens if we come to a number? So we need to capture that. So it's, if it's not a word or not a character, it's going to be a number. So let's look at abbreviation. We'll grab this again. Char at, char at J. Okay, is less than or equal to the character zero or abbreviation char at j is greater than the character 9 well, then we just need to return false meaning the character in there is not it's not a it doesn't match word doesn't match abbreviation and the character is not a number and so we're just going to well 
no good there. So here is how we deal with the numbers. We do int, I'm going to call this start, equals j. Now, so while j is less than abbreviation length, we got to make sure we're always less than the length to make it valid. Oops. Water was blocking the keyboard. All right. And abbreviation char at j. So now this is going to capture the numbers. And abbreviation char at j is less than or equal to 9. Oops, 9, Scott. 9. All right, so that will grab all the numbers. So now what we're going to do is just increase j. So in the case of substitution, back over here, we have the 1, so it'll capture that by incrementing j, and then it'll capture the 0 by incrementing j again. So basically all we've done is move the pointer. We haven't actually captured the number. So let's do that now. So int num equals, and we're going to parse this integer parse, parse int. So we're going to do a substring of the abbreviation. We're going to use the starting position, which is which is j that we've incremented, and then we're going to go for j characters. And that will grab the number. So now what we're going to do with that number is add it to i. So that means, so in other words, we have a 10, so now we can move the i pointer, which is in the word, we can move that 10 places. Num. And that is it for the while loop. All right, so now if we get all the way through that and we've gone through the word length and gone through the abbreviation, what we're going to do is return true or false. So we're going to return i equals word length, which means we've made it all the way through the word, and j equals abbreviation length. So we have to make it through both i and j, or both the, I'm sorry, the word and the abbreviation for it to be true. Okay, so we'll run this. It is successful. We'll submit it. Woo, faster than 92% and uses less memory than 90%. Okay, now let's try running this through the debugger. So I used the first example in lead code, which is the word internationalization, and this is the abbreviation, and this should return true. So initialize i and j to zero, and i is less than word length, j is less than abbreviation. So word character at i is equal to abbreviation, that is true. So the i in internationalization, we also have an i in the abbreviation. So we're going to increment i and j and continue. We're still within the parameters. However, now we're moving on to the 12. So abbreviation is not less than 0, greater than 9, so it doesn't return false. So now we're going to start iterating through the 12 here. And so abbreviation less than length abbreviation char is greater than zero. So it is in fact a number and so we're going to increment j and we do that twice for the 12. So now we have uh, j equal to 3 and so we've got to grab the number out of this. We're going to parse it and you can see the number is 12. So we just parsed starting at the start variable and going j position. So now we're just going to increment i to 13. And so now we are at the second i here and those are in fact the same so we'll continue on and when we're at the z it is also the same so we'll continue on 
now we're at the four and we get down here and we've got to go through this um, to get the number out of there so char it is our abbreviation is greater than zero less than equal to nine and so increment j and we only do that once and then we run this again this parse int to get the number out which is four so now we have to increment i by that amount so i becomes 19 and now we're at the n and the n which is at the end those are in fact equal so we'll continue from now the, we are not less than the word length so we're going to break out of that loop but j equals the abbreviation length and word equals or i equals the word length and so this does in fact return true finally let's go through the time and space complexity so the time complexity is o of n um, as we increment the parameter the input parameters it's just more times we have to go through those loops same thing with space complexity it uses more space the more the larger the input parameter and that's it so thanks for watching let me know if you have questions and we'll see you next time